So today we're going to go through installing a fully working Kodi 20.0 Nexus on the Fire Stick Fire TV. And we're going to show you how to add some add-ons with movies and TV shows, all free to use, all official. And we're going to run through it all on this video. Sound good? Brilliant. The one thing we ask just before we do it is hit that subscribe button if you're brand new here. If you're a regular watcher here, do remember to hit watch through to the end. And if you can help us out with a share, it really helps us out. And drop your thoughts on this video underneath and any questions, and we will try to get back to you. So here we go then. This is it. This is Kodi 20 Nexus. We're going to install it now directly on your Fire Stick, step by step for you. So to do that, first you need to install an application called Downloader. Okay, so magnifying glass, type in here, Downloader. D O W. N and you'll see downloader underneath. Click it, get it installed, but do not open it yet. Next up, we're going to go all the way across to our settings. So back to your home screen, go to your settings, go to My Fire TV, and if you have the option here, you click on Developer Options. If you do not have the option here for Developer Options, underneath there is a video on how to get your Developer Options back, okay? Next up, ADB debugging, turn on, install unknown apps, turn it on for downloader, okay? Brilliant, now your downloader is ready for you to install this Kodi 20.0. Brilliant, next up, what we're going to do, you need to find that downloader app again. So back on your home screen, if you know where it is, click on it, or if you can't find it, just search it again. You can just type downloader, click it open, and open we go. And once in here, once it's opening up for the first time, make sure you accept the permissions. If you do not accept the permissions, the downloader app will not do what you want it to do. Then in here, you're going to go to my website, which is linked directly underneath. You can test it out on a mobile phone first if you want to. You type in docsquiffy.com forward slash downloads, which is written underneath. But if you want to try and do it quicker, do 75726. Okay. You click go and this will load up my website what we are doing today is showing you how to install Kodi Kodi 20 is a media player that's all it is it's a media player for showing your media you can play your media at home it's no different to any other media player um, any media player you can show media in that's what it's for it's mainly there to manage your own media but there is some add-ons out there some official add-ons out there and that's the only thing we will be covering today which does have free movies and tv shows in we're not showing you how to bypass payment on anything we're not showing you how to get content which you're not allowed to get on this specific video so, next up you scroll down so you find in the list you'll probably find it under new updates new apks Kodi 20 okay if it is not there you can scroll down a little bit further and you'll find it under media players okay Kodi 20. You want the 32 bit. You want the 32 bit for your Fire Stick. You click it. And then you scroll down. And then you click the big download button. Hit that download button. And that's it. There is nothing to pay for on here. There is no sign up or anything like that. So if anything asks you for that, you may have clicked on an advert. Once here, let me just move my head out of the way. Click on that install button. App installed. Okay. Click done do not click open so click done then click delete you want to delete these files brilliant push the home button get back to your home screen then you need to find this application if you can't find it simply go to the three squares and the plus go down to my apps and you will find it within here okay this is another app again when you use it open it accept the permissions okay it will pop up saying permissions needed it will need certain permissions. If you do not accept them, you will not be able to use your media, access your media, or run media. And this is the base of Kodi. But what you can do is install some add-ons directly from the Kodi repository, which are all official to use, and are all a lot of the apps which we actually use in everyday life, um, which they have apps for. So you can add them on. You can go to add-ons. Um, you can then go, easiest way for me is click on add-ons. If you click on it, you can then go to download. Click on it again, and then you can scroll down all the way. If you want music add-ons, picture add-ons, 
But the main one we want is video add-ons. And in here you will find loads. There's a ton. And you can install them. And they're ready to go. So if you like CBC Sports, CBC Olympics. And one I did earlier, which I can show you in a second, is Crackle. And have a look. There might be things you like in there. Fox News, you can get your news. This is very good for the people who want their local channels. IMDB Trailers. Live Stream. And I'll show you how you do it. NBC Sports Live Extra. These are all in the official repository. You've got Plex, which would be a good one. And Pluto TV as well. Okay. Red Bull TV a bit further down. You can click on Plex. You can click Install. You click on Pluto. You can click Install. Okay. Click OK. And they're all going on. These are the official add-ons from the official websites, from the official people themselves. Okay, then if you want to see them, you need to push the back button to go back to your home screen. Do not push the home button. If you push the home button, it kicks you out of Kodi. Okay, so go back to your home screen. And here we go. Under add-ons, we've got a few here now. We've got Crackle, which I showed you a second ago. You've got Pluto TV and Plex. You can click on them. Click on them and you can open them up. So, for instance, Pluto TV, you've got live on demand categories. So, you can click on live if you want to. And you will see what is live at the moment on their channels, okay? So, you can click them, no problem. You can look on movies or on demand, shall we say, and see what's on on demand. Sort of thing you might want, maybe some entertainment, some action. Click on it. Find what you want to click on. Electra, great film, click it. That will then load up for you, and there it goes again. Brilliant. Obviously, you need to get out of this. A good tip, which was brought up by Fire TV Sticks um, on her video recently, if you don't follow her, do go and check her out, is to get out when you're using it on a Fire Stick, is make sure you click on the stop button before you go backwards. Otherwise, it continues to play in the background. And these are all here ready for you to use. Brilliant. Again, be careful pushing the home button, because if you do that, it does this. So that's installed. And like I said, they are all the official add-ons. They're the official add-ons from official producers, official suppliers. They're allowed to be used. Um, job done, they're all yours. There's nothing bypassing in there. It's all free content officially already. Brilliant. Quickly before you leave, like I said, if you can, hit that subscribe button. Drop me your comments underneath. If you need any more help with anything, we do have a Discord channel linked underneath in the comments. Plus... If you need a VPN to keep yourself safe online, I'd always recommend using a VPN anyway. NordVPN is linked directly underneath for you. It's a great official discount. We are affiliated with them, but if you want to help support the channel, a great way to say thank you is get yourself a VPN through one of our links. Brilliant. So I've been Doc Squiffy. This is the Doc Squiffy channel. Thank you all for watching. Hit that subscribe button if that helped you out, and I'll see you soon.